Hey guys, so uh, the, this video I want to talk about uh, autistic burnout because it is something um, people talk about a lot and I don't think I've seen a lot of videos uh, on the subject so here we go. Um, so some autistic people have a talent for pushing themselves past where they should push themselves. And I don't know if that's because some of us also are able to kind of tune out our bodies at times. And this isn't everyone. But when you keep pushing over and over and over again for an extended period of time, eventually you do st start to wear down and you kind of break down and that's uh, when autistic people say oh, we're experiencing this autistic burnout. And it can look different um, for, uh, for every autistic person. Uh, so you know, for me, that can look like, uh, generally, I might be more tired, I will be more withdrawn, and kind of retreat into myself a bit more. Um, I may be less talkative for a period of time, and that's probably because I'm finding that having communication is taking a lot more energy and effort than normal. And I feel like sometimes getting even the correct word out of my mouth can become difficult when I'm in these burnout periods. It really can take a toll on communication. I just, I'm like not into it right now. I just, I, and that, that's kind of, I think, a self-protection. I'm like, nope, because it becomes more difficult. Um, and, you know, my it, certain things, like, I just don't feel myself, my creativity struggles, but if I keep pushing past that point, um, I can start to have physical, like, health problems flare up, uh, because I do have some health conditions that lay dormant, knock on wood, where's the wood, ah, that it stays that way, um, but when I push myself too hard, that's when those things tend to get aggravated. So that's what happens for me in burnout. Uh, and other autistic people say they may have, you know, more meltdowns in burnout, or they may have a lot of different things, and I don't want to speak for other people. So let me know in the comments if you've experienced burnout and what triggers that for you what that's like for you, and also how you get out of burnout. What do you do to get out of burnout? I like to take a lot of time alone to just kind of rest and recover and do activities that are like downtime activities. Let me know. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.